We here at Notebook Journal are showing you today uh, the change of some graphic cards um, in a gaming notebook. This is a Schenker XMG, um, round about 7 kilos, um, just a little size comparison. The MacBook Air is approximately the thickness of the display. And this is the size. Okay, um, let's turn it around. We opened it already. Here you can see um, the core. Um, and there are the two slots for um, the graphic cards, master and slave graphic cards. Um, in an SLI or Crossfire combination, depending on the manufacturer. Okay, so so we um, do have just a thing. Um, something else about the notebook. It's approximately 3 inches, that's 7.5 centimeters thick. And here you can see that the USB ports and all the other ports, E, SATA and HDMI, are above the optical drive, which shows how much space there really is. Okay, so... Two graphic cards um, consume about 200 watts. We here have two NVIDIA GTX um, 580M graphic cards, 500 euros each. Then we have, and, and this honestly, you gotta love this, it's an NVIDIA Quadro 5010 for around about two thousand dollars a piece which is awesome i mean you probably can't afford it we can't afford it but we can test it and then we have the um, cooling device for the nvidia graphic cards you can see that it matches And we have um, two graphic cards from AMD, the Radeon HD 6990M, also 500, dollars, uh, 500 euros each, um, which we will use in a crossfire configuration. Uh, the cooling device for the NVIDIA, uh, for the AMD graphic cards, you can see the other, uh, the different shape from NVIDIA. Yep. Okay. So, let's put those babies in. Um, when you are assembling the graphic cards and you want to have the SLI uh, connection from the NVIDIA cards, you have to use this little cable, which is a little bit tricky to install. And here you can see how you have to uh, align it in order to get both of them in. It's a little bit tricky. You, If you have uh, thicker fingers, then maybe, like our trainee, you have some problems, but it's gonna work. Okay, here they are. So we're gonna put them in. Just align them up top. Now they are loose. And we're gonna attach those screws to get them fixed. We're using standard screws and a standard screwdriver. Nothing fancy here. Here you can see uh, the cooling device, the shape matching 
those of the NVIDIA graphic chips. Here you can put the thermal compound on, just a little bit. Then you align those cooling devices. You have four screw holes. You gotta attach those in order to make sure the, the thermal compound uh, is pressed on accurately. And then you take the cooler you put that on with four screws and you connect the power cable to the socket right below. We are going to show you this a little bit more up close. Here you can see the socket where we put it in. Okay. Um, same thing with the second cooler over the second NVIDIA graphic card. Yeah, as soon as you put that on, you can put back on the lid. Attach this again and then you're ready to go. Thank you very much.